Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of Weathercast 8. I'm meteorologist Ann Roberts. Now while most of us didn't see much in the way of shower activity yesterday, some portions of the state did. We saw most of the shower activity stay in portions of southern Arkansas and that really is the case going into this afternoon as well. You can see just a few showers currently impacting say El Dorado and points just to the southeast of that. Otherwise, most of the shower activity is just ahead of the cold front that pushed through yesterday, say from New York all the way to portions of Louisiana. The rest of the country is not really dealing with much outside of high pressure and of course some cooler air from the north which is making for beautiful temperatures. You'll see 76 here in Arkansas, 60s in the Midwest. Of course, a chilly 48 in Minnesota, but that's Minnesota in this time of year. They tend to be a little on the chilly side as well. If you're looking for a warm place to go, you're going to have to go all the way to Southern California where it's still in the uh, 100s out there. But as for the rest of us, we are looking at beautiful temperatures across the state here in Arkansas. We're coming up on the noon hour, and the warmest spot in the state right now are coming in at 79 in Little Rock and just south of Helena. So I would say that it's a pretty perfect day for September right here in East End. You'll notice no heat index values for today. It's 79 with a low dew point and low humidity, so it's going to be a kind of a chilly night outside, so grab your jacket and be prepared for that. For today, we'll only see a high of 83. It'll be a perfect afternoon for a run or for hiking or any other outdoor activity you have planned. For tonight, 59. I'm going to call it a one blanket night. Open the windows. It'll be just a little bit chilly, but not too bad. For tomorrow, we'll see a high of 86, so just a tad bit warmer, sunny and warm, but again, another beautiful September day. Now, if you're going out to the ballpark for Monday or Tuesday night for softball games, this is what you can expect in your 6, 7, and 8 o'clock hour clear conditions so it'll be a nice chilly night for Sheridan's game on Friday versus Whitehall again it'll be nice now cloud cover will begin to move in just about after oh nine o'clock and we should see some showers that night but it should hold off until after the game if you're heading out to the Razorback game this Saturday in Fayetteville you can expect 80 by game time at 6 30 in our extended forecast temperatures look great overnight lows look great next chance of rain moving in by your Friday but otherwise a perfect September week now, I cannot let this day go by without recognizing that it is September 11th. So let's take a moment of silence and remember those affected by this day. <laughs> 